Hi, my name is Matthew Hahn, and I'm going to give a speech about Alzheimer's disease. My grandmother was diagnosed in Alzheimer's in 2008, and I've been watching her, her for six years. I have been interested about Alzheimer's disease. More than five million Americans are living with AD, and every 67 seconds, someone in the United States develops AD and Alzheimer's is the sixth leading cause of death in the world. <clears throat> there are approximately 500,000 people dying each year because they have AD. One in three seniors dies with AD or another dementia, and 17.7 .7 billion hours of unpaid care were provided by caregivers to AD patients. So AD is also called as most common form of dementia, and it is also senile dementia, and it was discovered by German psychiatrist and neuropathologist Alan Sartreimer in 1906. And it is very slowly progressive, and it increases in production of beta and amyloid protein, and as AD progresses, brain tissue shrinks. And here's a picture of Alan Sartreimer. And the the top one is the brain without Alzheimer's, and bottom was the brain with Alzheimer's. That we can see the brain shrinks when patients have Alzheimer's. And AD stage can be um, classified to four stages: early, second, moderate, and last. And each stage um, lasts about two to four years. For early stage, the patients experience a frequent wrist memory loss, a special conversation or events and they have a problem expressing and understanding language and they have a difficult time to write and use objects and they have a depression and apathy and the personality drastically changes in this period. For the second stage, the patients can no longer cover the problems and pervasive and persistent memory moves and rambling speech and unusual reasoning. They have a confusion about current events, times and place and they need assistance to maintain daily living. For mother stage, the patients experience increased memory loss and con confusion. They cannot recognize family and friends. They lose the ability to learn new things and delusion, paranoia, impulsive behavior, and damage occurs in areas of the brain that control language, reasoning, sensory, processing, and conscious thought. For the last stage, um, they have a confusion about past and present, and they lose the ability to recognize familiar people and places, and they totally lose the verbal skills, and they have extreme physical and psychological problems, and they need total care, support and care, and they can die from infections or pneumonia. For diagnosis, um, AD can be diagnosed clinically from the patient history or clear history from relatives and observations. CT, MRI, and PET are used to give vivid images of several pathologists of AD patients. Psychological tests for depression are also employed because depression is one of the common symptoms of AD. And diagnosis can be conformed with very high accuracy post-mortem when brain material is available and can be examined histologically. And there is a brain when, when it's fresh right after patients die. So. For causes that we don't fully understand the causes of AD. However, some scientists propose that AD is caused by a reduced synthesis of the neurotransmitter called acetylcholine. Acetylcholine is a neurotransmitter in the autonomic nervous system. The autonomic nervous system is the part of the, the peripheral nervous system that acts as a control system that controls heart rate, digestion respiratory rate, and breathing. For characterization, um, AD is characterized by a build of a protein in the brain, usually plaque and tangles. And plaque are the deposit of the pr protein beta amyloid that accumulate between nerve cells, and tangles are the deposit of the protein tau that accumulate inside the nerve cells. And it is normal for many old individuals to develop plaques and tangles, however, um, the patient, the brains of 80 patients have a great number of plus and tangles in specific area in brain reasons.
for three months. I mean, there is no way to treat the AD, but they usually use the medicine, usually pill. And all of the medicines were initially developed for depression and anxiety, so they can temporarily delay or slow the symptoms of AD. However, they cannot cure the symptoms of AD. Now, there is no way to stop or cure AD. For prevention, um, lots of doctors recommend prevention because prevention is the only way to protect ourselves or our family from AD. There are lots of preventions. However, the most recommended and the most used for prevention is being a vegetarian and observing food with plentiful amounts of omega-3 fatty acids. These are the food with plentiful omega-3 fatty acids. And drinking glass of wine or proper grape juice with an evening meal or balanced social life can help. For a family, um, 80 patients, um, 80 also is not deadly like a cancer. However, it cannot be cured, so it can be forever until patients die. So whenever um, 80 patients need the care, the family has to be provided care. So it can't, can be exhausting <coughs> to take care and help the family. So I hope we can find a cure to 80 patients so we can release the hardships of 80 patients and their families. Thank you.